Hi, it's a video review for this knife set, and this is the box that it comes in. And um, it shows you all the knives that are included. So it has a chef knife, a carving knife, a bread knife, a utility knife, and a paring knife. Or if you're hus my husband, they're all just a knife. He doesn't care what does what. Drives me nuts. You don't cut tomatoes with a bread knife, but anyway. Uh, there's a nice plastic handle on the top to carry it with. It shows a couple different models. And I've already obviously taken it out. Just a tip when you uh, go to take this out. This part is sort of bent in to hold it on both sides. So you just pop those on either side to get the uh, knife block out. And then down in here was a box with the knives in it. Uh, let me see. This is the box that the knives were in. There was also this little sort of flyer that shows different sets that you can get from the company and there's I think it said there were care instructions um, a little bit of information about the knives and then I know I saw them care and use right there uh, let me see I'm gonna put this down so I can show you hopefully a little better so when you get the knives like I said, they're in that cardboard box. That's the knife set. And each one is in a cardboard sleeve and then plastic wrapped with um, a protective tip on them. As you can see, this is the butcher knife, right? That should be, I don't even know, it wasn't a butcher knife, I'm sorry, that's the chef's knife. And then here we go. So here is the carving knife and you can see, and hopefully it's going to pick up on camera, this black part along the top almost looks like hammered, which is interesting. They have a nice sharp tip. Uh, the blade feels pretty sharp. I'll test it on a tomato. It feels actually quite sharp. And then the handles are sort of a rubberized handle that don't want to focus at all. So they have this sort of rubberized texture, and then this part, which is imprinted with the company's logo, feels um, like plasticky. And then the other thing I always like to check on knives, yeah, this is important, at least to me, is if the knife is solid through here, so that when you wash them, water doesn't get down in here, because that'll make them rust, and not all knives are solid like this, so that's something to point out. So onto the knife block. Here's the block. The knives go in nice and smooth. Let me see. I have this one. It's a nice sharp look. And it's sort of a brushed aluminum sort of brushed stainless look. There are a couple little marks here. I'm not sure what that's from. The bottom of this does have some grippers, but obviously it doesn't do much because I can slide this around on my table, no problem. And I like this sort of point of view. Looks like the Titanic. But what I'll do is I'll get some measurements for the knives because that's important. I like to know how long the knives are. I'll get overall measurements of the block itself because that's also important depending on how much your counter, how much counter space you have. And I'm going to go ahead and test these on tomatoes because to me, tomatoes are the true test of how sharp a knife is, short of like, you know, shaving the hair on your arm or paper test, which I don't want to do with these. So I will do all that. I will add that part to the written review, but for now I just wanted to show you what it looks like on video and show you the packaging in case you're planning on giving this as a gift. That's something I always like to note. And I think that's it. If I come across anything else, I'll add it to the video review. And if not, I will just add it to the written review. But for now, I hope that this was helpful. Okay, I'm about to make dinner. So I thought as long as I had everything here, I would go ahead and test out the knives on a uh, tomato. Because to me, these are the hardest things to cut if your knife isn't sharp. So let me see. Nice and smooth. I will say when it gets to this like pitted area, you can actually feel it against the tomato. Now, anyone that knows knives, if you cook regularly, you know this sharpness won't last. So you are going to have to sharpen the knife. But for now, at least, I mean that cut nice and smooth, no issues. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my chicken. I'm not going to do that on camera. 
and but I'll add in the written review whether or not the chicken cut well. But I just want to show it real quick. Here it is in action, and um, I think that's it.